In the night of 21 to 22 of March 1985, says Stefan. I woke up and by instinct went to my easel, starting to paint the vision of Marilyn Monroe I had had in my mind. Marilyn Monroe has appeared. The group stops walking. 
In her baby breathy voice, filled with a deep emotional intelligence, she says, Good evening. Gentlemen. My name is Norma Jean. I am coming from May 29, 1962, from Madison Square Garden, where I have just saluted President Kennedy, with a happy birthday, Mr. President. I did not like the way Peter Lawford announced me he was joking about my always being late. Then he announced me, Mr. President, the late Marilyn Monroe. Unfortunately, in a short two months I would indeed become the late Marilyn Monroe. I died, accidentally. J.F. Kennedy shows up. Marilyn was sensational. After having had the happy birthday sung by her, I could easily retire from politics. It was a beautiful gift from her for my birthday. Her gift is truly a Zen Buddhist timeless moment that lasts forever. The group has started walking now. President Kennedy joins them. Marilyn, with a deep cleavage, more than easy on the eye, walks along, wiggling her behind. I wrote a poem, O oh Time, Marilyn says. I have asked she time to be kind to me, to ease my restless mind, and to loose my cosmic loneliness, as she is devouring my flesh and blood. She time, the love goddess, comes and goes, leaving the scars in our hearts. She belongs to no one, as I never belonged to anyone, though I was kind to everyone. All we can do is to ask she time, to be kind to us in our lives unkind. After my death, I was ascended into an immortal woman code 9. By the grace of Hermes Trismegistus. Einstein, who is one of the mortal incarnations of Hermes Trismegistus, was my hero, it seemed to me that he had conquered she time. Now, Dr. Falstaff, you are my hero. With Falstaffian immortality, human tears will be wiped out dry. The sorrow in the human minds, the pain in the human hearts, and the loneliness in the human guts will be gone forever. <laughs>